cool. Well, how nice to meet you, uh, Miranda. Um, I mean, quite a, a quite a dark character. I was wondering how, if you have to try and find a way to kind of um, understand the character's motives, and was that especially tricky in this instance? Um, yeah, it 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 was because it, it sort of just kept revealing itself as I went along. Um, I actually, when I came into the project, um, I was meant to be down there for like a, a two week kind of, you know, prep and rehearsal and stuff. And then I went and got COVID and I lost my week's rehearsal and then everything was like jam packed into a few days. And so a lot of it was sort of like, you know, even though I've done a lot of research before I came, a lot of developing the character like on my feet was really done on set, on camera. <laughs> so, um, it was interesting to go along how when I started, I thought that she would be, you know, quite cold. But then we discovered along the way that, you know, it needed um, it needed warmth in it as well. That Like how to kind of lure people in and how to make people feel special. Um, motivation wise, I, I mean, I started out by thinking that, it, you know, it would be very much based around wanting power that that the motivation was was power but um that kind of wore thin in some way for me which was really interesting I thought that would be you know you always want to give yourself something that is is juicy to play with and satisfying but it, it really sort of wasn't as satisfying as I thought it would be mm -hmm. um and so over time it kind of morphed and changed and and I found that it was more about there were moments where I felt that like she was so kind of dead inside that like the, the in her life, the, the, the pieces that put you together when you're a child that make you connect with other people and empathize and all those things that those pieces never got put there or she never had them. And so her way of being in an emotional situation was to actually manipulate other people and then in that moment of of watching them go through these emotions she was in some way experiencing them herself like she was um like an emotional vampire like eating up their their trauma and their their emotions in some way that that sort of filled her up in some way and that was in the end the most kind of uh, the the thing that kind of um, what's the word just like worked for me I was um I was saying to my wife as we watched the show yesterday or well this morning for me a bit maybe yesterday for you and I, I mean this as a compliment by the way but Australians do dark dramatic material really really well what why do you <laughs> think that why do you think that might be <laughs> um I think we have a dark history I think we do and I, I think you know, we oscillate between, I think, you know, stylistically in Australia between like the the films of the the sort of seventies, where you know you're you're looking at this landscape and this fear of the landscape and fear of the country and you know these sort of ideals brought across from um, you know Western Europe into a country and th that sort of forced culture on a on a, a country that you know didn't belong to us um and so there's that kind of films of the 70s and then you go into more of the sort of like late 80s 90s kind of comedies that are sort of brash colorful kind of and and I think you know the Australian character sits between those two things between like this thing that seems like we're super laconic and easygoing but I think there's quite a dark under thread in Australia uh, but, but so sort of conversely I watched the Neighbours finale when it aired <laughs> not oh, quite as dark you. yeah <laughs> and um, the, reason, the reason I bring that up is because Guy Pearce I just think was so brilliant in it and gave so much to that character I think in that and in, in, in a situation where he could have been excused not to and I interviewed a director uh, quite soon after who directed Guy who said that he's just like that on set he just gives everything to a role I just wondered how um, contagious that is when you work with someone that brings that kind of work ethic to a, to a shoot yeah like he he really delves deep um, Guy mm -hmm. he really comes with a really strong idea of what he wants to do 
and you know he when he came in as Bryce he was very complete in that performance and that was great to work from but he's also just a very he's a very quiet and understated person but he's someone behind the scenes who really keeps in contact with people and helps people out in in ways that you wouldn't have expected and um yeah he's a, he's a very lovely person yeah we call him a good egg I think over here yeah but um yeah <laughs> how was it being directed by your sister on this occasion I mean you already obviously ah. have that built trust so does that that must make the world a difference I imagine yeah it does and it it was really wonderful, you know, like she has directed my husband, she's directed my dad, she's directed my daughter, but we'd never worked together. Um, so it was lovely to get to the chance to work on this. And I'm just so proud of everything that she's achieved. You know, she's really going great guns. And it was it was a great shorthand actually, because also Jeffrey who Walker, who set up the show, I, it was the fourth time that I worked with him as well. So, you know, I kind of, it just gives you great comfort to be working with people, you know, when you've got to get through a lot in a day and, you know, the, some of it's quite tricky. It's great to be working with people who, you know, the way they work, you know what they want, you know, that they won't move on until they've got it. And with Gracie, you know, we were able to talk a lot on weekends and stuff about what she was wanting, what she was thinking in the shots, how she was going to organize the day, what, you know, there was a lot of prep work that we were able to achieve so that when we came on set, we were, um, you know, able to be super prepared. And I knew what, you know, she was going to be wanting and all of that, which was, was great. And, you know, she has such a, um, uh, a great, style to her too in the in the way that she shoots things are you sisters on set or do you almost have to take on a new dynamic as kind of director and actor um no I think we're more like you know like Gracie technically is my half sister so we didn't actually grow up in house together but you know I was around a lot in her childhood and stuff so I yeah we're more like uh, she's totally the director and you know whatever she's going to tell me to do I'm going to do absolutely but I think we're still like sisters on set have you ever kind of considered stepping behind the lens and doing stuff in a in a kind of in a different capacity I suppose um I would have said once upon a time you know that my favorite department to be in if I wasn't acting would have been art department I love the art department everything they do I'm I'm always like like fascinated by the, the the costumes and sets and all that like I love that department um but over the years I thought oh maybe I, I would never be a writer I think writing is incredibly difficult and I just don't have that gift um but yeah it would be interesting to direct something but there's so many questions. People want to know so much from you. Like you have to, you have to, everyone comes to you and says, what about this or that? What do you need for this? That would be the hardest part. Yeah, it's one of those roles where you can't really get away with saying, I don't know. <laughs> you no, have not to at all. You can't pass it on to anybody else. Well, someone who likes the art department, God, Lord of the Rings must have been a great experience for you. Getting oh, yeah. to kind of, yeah, that, all the kind of meticulous detail that kind of went into the, the background yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and also, you know, when I was working on Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I loved all the art department stuff. I, I just love all that stuff. Like the, the, when people really put in that detail, I, I loved all the costumes and, and sets on this. Like I, it's a big thing for me on a production to look at some dailies very early on just to get a vision of the, the world that we're in because I feel like, often that does so much already it sort of it means there's certain things that I should do less of as an actor because so much is being said by the way that it's being filmed and by the 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 look of it you know the the look for Adrian in this is is such a strong look and the kids and like it's just aesthetically it's it's quite an amazing looking production well, I'm still sort of getting used to seeing the the Disney logo next to shows like this of this nature because obviously it didn't now with Disney Plus it's sort of it's lending and giving a home now to it's much a big umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but as as an actor, is it quite an exciting time because there's so many platforms and so much content, and as an audience member, it feels like there's more to see and more to watch. So for for yourself, speaking from within the industry, does it feel like there's more kind of opportunities and roles out there than than there ever has been? I suppose. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think what's been so 
wonderful since I mean since really like cable rose up first of all and now streaming but there's been a sense of um since you know it hasn't been just network tv like it used to be there's a sense of going into more niche areas and finding the universality through a niche kind of story and I found that really fascinating and and really kind of rewarding work that you can get into some really interesting intricate kind of stories and for me as a viewer I've just loved being able to watch shows from all around the world I've you know in the you know in the sort of networky days you really only saw shows from the country in which you live but now um you can you know be watching something from Korea and then something from Germany and then someone tells you something about something from France and you know there's there's stuff from everywhere that you can watch on these platforms yeah the only downside is it's hard to keep up but it's true that it's yes. great there is <laughs> it's so hard to keep up people mention things to me like oh my god I've never even heard of that one oh my gosh I need to write a list um, so my, my final question, just because um, I, I, I just obviously asked you about working with guys, it'd be remiss for me not to ask about Teresa as well, because she's such a fantastic actress and she really carries yeah. such a complex character in a sense. So I just she wondered does. about collaborating with her and what she brings to that, to that very tricky role. It is a super tricky role. Like when I was reading it originally, I thought, wow, that you're carrying the weight of the trauma for the whole piece all the way through. And you, you've got to carry that in you and on your face the whole time it's got to be there but it can't be overplayed and I think you know she she treads that fine balance so well and and that also like she's just such a lovely person and down-to-earth natural kind of person to have on set and even though she's carrying this very heavy role she isn't on set being a heavy a person she's a very light person you know someone who has her kids around and she's always doing Instagram things and you know she's she's very present in the scene and able to be in something very emotional and then completely able to sort of jump out of it and um you know just be just be a, a sort of fun loving light person yeah. well I thought you two did a fantastic job in this I'm really I really can't wait to keep um, going <laughs> oh thank you yeah no it's, it's really great I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest myself cool. well thank you so much for your time today miranda and best luck with the recent show ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys hey, hey, hey that's what they all say hey you guys hey you guys